Joining us now is Congressman Eric Swalwell of California. He was an impeachment manager in the second Trump impeachment trial in the Senate. Uh, Congressman Swalwell, we just heard Donald Trump say, I took the documents I'm allowed to. That sounds like a pretty direct confession to what we are likely to see uh, in his indictment on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Uh, that's right, Lawrence. He also said, I have the right to do whatever I want to do. And finally, you have a prosecutor who is playing on Donald Trump's side of the field. Uh, he's not intimidated by Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump set the terms of this investigation as prior folks uh, have done. Uh, and, and that's why this indictment uh, has come. I think it's important, though, that we're not just talking about, you know, an indictment or documents that your viewers and American people understand that these are the most sensitive, top secret pieces of intelligence that protect our troops, that relate to nuclear secrets, that relate to war planning. He kept them for himself. And why do we care about that? It's because the guy has priors. A guy that was willing to use $350 million of taxpayer military aid for Ukraine to get dirt on his political opponent would certainly want to use those documents to leverage support for himself or some sort of financial benefit for himself. That's why it matters. That's why this is different uh, than any other president's handling of classified documents. In your experience uh, on the uh, Intelligence Committee in the House of Representatives, uh, what what kind of material gets the classification level? I think you've, you've just been addressing this, the kind of classification levels uh, that we see in this case. So it would be protecting sources and methods, meaning that if we were to recruit someone from another country to tell us about their nuclear program or about their president's plans and intentions for whatever issue, uh, we would want to protect, uh, you know, the sources and methods. And so we'd classify it at the highest level so that only a limited number of people could see it. The president has the highest access, of course, to classified information. Lawrence, any time I leave a secured, compartmentalized information facility called a SCIF, we all do this. We all, you know, check ourselves to make sure we didn't remove anything because it's drilled into you and it's absolutely drilled into the president that if this stuff leaves a secured area, you put troops' lives at risk. And he put troops' lives at risk by keeping them for himself. Uh, we saw Donald Trump at various times. We saw uh, Sean Hannity on television trying to help him, uh, saying, uh, you know, I've known you for decades. Uh, in fact, let's just show this videotape of someone trying to help Donald Trump find his way to what he should say about this. Let's let's listen to this. I've known you for decades. I can't I can't imagine you ever saying, um, bring me some of the boxes that we brought back from the White House. I'd like to look at them. Did you ever do that? I would have the right to do that. There's nothing wrong with but it. But I know you. I don't think you would do well, it. I don't have a lot of time, but I would have the right to do that. Right. I would do that. Let me, All right, let me move on. Let me Remember in. this. Yeah. This is the Presidential Records Act. I have the right to take stuff. Uh, Carson Swalwell, what we've seen all the way through this is you can't help him if you try. His criminal defense lawyers have not been able to help him. They don't have a single credible public argument that the criminal defense lawyers have made. Uh, and every time they make some assertion about it, Donald Trump goes out and contradicts them. This is a man who his entire life has cheated accountability, Lawrence. Uh, and uh, Bob Mueller let Donald Trump draw the red line on his finances and dictate the timeline. And so that has only made Donald Trump more emboldened to believe he's above the law, not less emboldened. And now he's finally met somebody who is aggressively taking the facts and applying the law. And so today I think we should celebrate not that Donald Trump's been indicted again, but that the rule of law is prevailing, it's working, and we should all afford Donald Trump the same equal protection under the Constitution and due process under the law that any other defendant would get in America. And we'll survive this test of our Constitution. Congressman Eric Swalwell, thank you very much for joining our discussion tonight.